There's some sweet Thug Life videos. Actually. That's what I was just gonna look up, dude. Like, have you that, seen the cat one? Yeah, that cat. Yeah, that that's, so that's the funny. best. That's the best. That's so good. Oh. Have you seen Thug Life Jesus? No, no, no. It's called We Jesus. Are we allowed to start yet? Yeah. Yeah, we're starting. Yes. Help. Oh, Hold up. Oh, fuck you, YouTube. Don't be like that. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so legit. What? He's, he's watching. He's, he's got a cigarette. That's a, it's a blunt. He's got a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts it out of the oh, wheelchair. Dude. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> next episode. Oh, does he smoke it? Smoke oh, weed every does. day. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That's just class act right that, there. That's good. Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. I'm Hayden. Yeah, Tanner here. Mason. And uh, we're starting the show officially. That was the pre-show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we if you end up hearing that, so probably not, but we'll see how it goes. So, um, topics, fellas. Yeah. Um, I just want to start the show off by uh, explaining. Last time we were here, uh, Cheeto or Richie explained that uh, the Family Guy thing with the uh, che- uh, the Cheeto Cheetah. Paul Brandt. Yeah, he said Paul Brandt. Paul Brandt is the best fucking drummer ever. We just want to clear that up. It's Neil Pert, and it wasn't cocaine he was snorting. It was uh, those like cheesies. He's crushed it up and snorted it. That was part of the Family Guy joke. So yeah, Seth MacFarlane, we apologize. Yeah, we done diddly fucked up. <laughs> Pretty much. All I right. wasn't involved in that though, so they done diddly fucked up. Not me. Oh, I, I was I, right in there. I, I was, was just right like, in there. what's that even from? It's the only thing I said <laughs> in the entire thing. That was between you and Richie. Yeah, that was Mason. between me and Richie, yeah. So, you gotta tell us the story when you were at the gas station and, like, the fucking lady knocked herself out. You gotta tell us that story. She knocked herself out? Or? Yeah, you said you're, like, filling up her, like, car or whatever. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Uh, um, I, I work at a gas station. I'm a gas attendant. And it was kind of late at night. It was, like, 8 30, 9 o'clock. And um, this lady pulls up, and she's on her cell phone. She's run, uh, just jumps out of her truck and runs right to the pump. Um, you know, I, I was walking over, and then uh, she she had her back to me, and uh, she was on the phone, so I knew she couldn't hear me. So I'm standing there. I, I'm holding the squeegee buckets. So I'm, like, slapping them against the plats, trying to make some noise. I'm, I'm stomping my feet a little bit. Nothing. I clear my I clear my throat. She Nothing. Fuck so I cough throat. a little bit. Nothing. So I'm like, fuck it. Hello. <laughs> and she... Jumps, turns around, and just screams, and her legs give out. She bashes her head off the side of her truck, and she's lying on the ground. She's holding herself up against the bed with one arm, and she's got the she's got her phone still talking on the phone. And the other hand, she's like, and she's like, hi, and she gets back up, and then the and then and she's like, what? No, I'm fine. Now some dude just scared the shit out of me. Meanwhile, you're and like, then she just continues on with the conversation. That was it, and I'm like. You're like, would you, you like me to fill up your vehicle? She's you, like, no, I'm good, bro. And just that was it. And I'm like, okay, fine. Do you want the premium, premium, or do you want regular? There are three different kinds. Okay. No, I'm, I'm thinking there's four. You gave her the nightmare edition. <laughs> yeah, that was not good. She scared me too. She screamed really loudly. Like, I was expecting like a little, oh my god, but no, it was a, it was a loud scream. She, I thought she knocked she herself out. Like she bashed, she bashed her head off the side of her truck. And I thought she was going down. I'm like, all right, this is not good. <laughs> Way to end the night. I was expecting a nice, quiet night, but no. no. She couldn't let me have it. <laughs> Took that away she from me. didn't overfill her gas or something. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Oh. Man, oh, man. So get hard with Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell looks hilarious. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> you got to watch a commercial for it. It's so funny. Basically, uh, Will Ferrell is this rich guy, and he gets um, charged for ten years, and he gets charged ten years in prison for something, and then he goes to Kevin Hart thinking he's an ex-con, and you know, uh, tries to convince him to teach him how to become tough enough so he can live in prison, and basically just the stuff they do to get him trained, it just it looks absolutely hilarious. Yes, you see, the joke of the title is getting hard as in an erection, but. Prison, which is connected to prison yeah, rape. Exactly, but he's actually just getting tough, as far as I can tell. Don't even worry. It's not a porno. We just clarifying. That's, <laughs> that's the only reason we're allowed to talk about it. We had to have a five minute uh, discussion about whether we were allowed to bring this up or not. It looks super funny, but 
some people think it's inappropriate. Uh, oh, oh. Did you watch the commercial for Ted 2 or whatever the fuck? Ted 2? There's another one? Yeah, they're making another one. Oh, oh Ted, Ted, was, Ted was terrible. Oh, I hated oh, Ted. The second one, just watch the commercial. So funny. Is it really? It's It's worth it. Oh. Yeah, I'll put a I'll put a link in the description. Okay, it's worth it. Well, still, Fast and Furious set or sorry, Furious Seven comes out April third. That movie looks sweet. What the fuck is with these titles? Like, wasn't there one movie where it's just yeah, like we... Fast Five? Yeah, okay, so <laughs> you're, okay, like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna Seven. I'm gonna attempt it. It's Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, uh, Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, uh, Fast and the Furious, uh, Fast Five, Furious Six, Furious Seven. I think I got that right. Dude. They can't. They can't just go one, two, three, four, five, six. No, apparently not. Wait, is there not a three, or is that they just name it? Well, to... okay, so three is a different storyline, but also um, at the end they connected it back. Um, so it's kind of technically the movie scenario goes one, two, four, five, six, three, seven. I believe. Yeah, I think so. Somewhere along those lines. So. Hmm. Yeah. Now I know. Yeah, there you go. Keeping you updated on the Fast and Furious life. Oh, man. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I got your back. So I was checking Twitter the other day, and Peter Pie had a tweet up there, and he was talking about, you have Twitter. I'm, yeah. I'm moving to the first world now. I don't like Twitter. Oh. I hate Twitter. You should get it. See, Any, Twitter's everything's, all the same. Everything's like... good but Twitter. <laughs> the Vine where the guy's like, it's running outside. Oh, no one's tweeted this yet. And he, like, runs over and sweat it. Damn it. Someone's have, tweeted it. Have you heard that song? It's Twitter. Twitter bites, cause no one gives damn about your silly little life. <laughs> gotta watch it. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Michael Jackson parody, I'm just guessing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 100%. Oh, th- his thriller video. That's actually a solid video. Yeah, it's the first music video I yeah. ever saw. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so back to PewDiePie. He put this tweet up and he was like, he was talking about how like people are hating on him because he's like uh, changing now. Like people like want him to like be like the same old PewDiePie that he was. And he's kind of mad about it because his, you know, his jokes have transitioned from like, you know, like the classic original Mr. Chair and Stefano to new things like he's he's going through like an MLG f- phase right now, I guess you could say. Oh, is he? So it's like get wrecked or smoke weed every day and stuff like I that. I hate get wrecked. Oh, people say that to me all the time, and I just want <laughs> get to punch wrecked. Him. I just want to wreck him. I want to hit him in the face. I hate when they say get wrecked, or or get shrekt. When people say get shrekt, I will, oh, I hate that one. I mean, what do you think about the change thing, though? Like, do you think like people are right when they're saying, you know, he should he should like keep like keep making videos like he was? Well, like I'm thinking like like people are like, oh, you're de- you're like appealing to like a, a child demographic now, and I think well, like, that's his audience. I, I think he's actually kind of growing up along with his audience. So if you've kept up with him, that no. he's, I think he's he's kind of less mature. Do you think? His, like yeah. Well, it like really when you when you get to that level of. Uh, Famousness, I guess you could call it. Like when you get to um, he's, that he's popular, he's to the lowest common denominator or whatever. They yeah, call basically, it. Like, basically he's picking his biggest fan group and just appealing to them. He's playing, appealing to that demographic, and really, that's um, the best thing you can do. Like uh, most people, like um, Jason Statham, uh, he has a very high, um, like he's very popular, he's very famous, but he will never do a movie that is not an action or a thriller because that's what he's known for and that's what the people like that's what the public wants from him they don't want to see him singing mamma mia and all that other stuff like that he's going to be in one type of film he's going to be one kind of scenario just like adam sandler never does anything serious exactly well look what happened to that like coney guy like he got so famous so quickly and then he went fucking crazy pulled like a walter white walk around naked in public Wait, you yeah. talking about the guy who made Coney? Yeah, the yeah. guy, the guy who uh, basically like illustrated Coney made all those Coney videos for like the longest time. Got... He went crazy as fuck. Yeah. He was drunk and he jerked off in public. That's about it. And then he lost all backing because you know if you jerk off in public, you're public enemy number one. Well, apparently, I thought people were saying like because like all this like fame went to his head, and he just kind of got like. <clears throat> were we talking the about hangover? this last week and we did not decide if Coney was alive or dead yet? Well, it was an episode of Hawaii Five O where he wasn't dead, but then they shot him at the end. So I'm gonna go with he's dead. What you think? You think Hawaii Five O based 5-0 on the TV the truth. show? <laughs> hey man, okay. don't am, play yeah, with me. I, I think we were actually. I think we decided that he was dead. I think. I think we decided. Well, you know dead. what? Times are changing, man. You gotta. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, you Google that, and don't go to Juggalos again. That was a that hey, was a we, really. We beat that. We beat that. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to actually upload some of that because it's it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I'll just I'll just have to clear it past uh, Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, we can't say that. Anyway, so 
we were talking about the YouTube community, and I think that PewDiePie's right, yes. right yes. to appeal to children. Because, I don't know. I'm Wait, only, well, okay. is, he, is he still swearing as much? Because that was part of the reason he was funny, and that's why he got such a big fan base, is because he was so funny, and part of the swearing made him funny. Like, um, uh, Rooster Teeth is a uh, Rage Quick guy. The only reason he was super funny is because he, like, freaked out and he would swear a lot. Yeah, he's still swearing. But okay, okay. What, I'm, what I'm trying to get at here is yeah, that... I kept up, so... Okay, no offense to the YouTube community, but, like, you're pretty immature, to be honest. Like, I know there's, like, some sophisticated individuals out there, but most of the YouTube community, it seems, is just trying to, like, jump down each other's throats, kill each other. Well, but, yeah, that's why, that's why I have the comment section doing a thing, like, I have... There's a video. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this and not sound autistic. Um, <laughs> I have a plugin, so whenever there's a video and then it was posted to Reddit, it just takes the Reddit comments because Reddit is a lot more sophisticated. Because on there's like there's like upvoting and stuff. So I mean, you can download all the shit ones and no one sees it. So so like on YouTube, all you see is get wrecked or. Like some like I don't know copy paste like dick or something no one cares about. Honestly, from a psychological standpoint, really what they're doing is most of these people, it, it's kind of like alcohol. It's like it's like courage. Basically, when you when you drink a lot of beer, it's called liquid courage. Most people get a lot more um, What's active that? and they'll do things they've never done before. But when you get behind a keyboard or you get behind your cell phone, you know you can do a lot more than you had never thought you ever could because you're not having that face-to-face confrontation. Like, Hayden, I'm not gonna look at you and I'm not gonna tell you to go kill yourself, but you know, if you piss me off enough and we go behind the keyboard, I may do it. I'm not going to because I like you, you're my brother. But... Okay. So, anyways, have you guys, do you guys know what Ask is? Like the app Ask? Uh, Hayden, if you have Ask, I lost so much respect for you. That is the stupidest app ever. Yeah, I have asked. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What's and going on? I, I was just brought it up because it's, like, similar to the thing we were just talking about. Like, you can ask anonymous things to people you know in real life. So, I mean, people get, get really fucking nasty. And I, I, should, I should just find some. Like, honestly, like, one of my best friends gets so much shit on ask. Don't use the actual name. I won't. Dude. I'll just read the questions. If I can find some. Yeah, like, like I said, if from a psychological standpoint, people have this need to trash others in, uh, it's, a, it's a way, it's kind of like um, a way of communicating when they can't, like, you know, um, when they go to school, they get picked on, so when they come home and they go on that keyboard, they have to pick on others to try and balance, it's kind of like not math, you have to balance, if you, what you do to one side, you have to do the other, you have to balance it out, so some people need to balance out their lives, maybe their home life isn't that good, so they come to school and they take it out on other people. Hey, that happened to me in grade 6, some kid made a face fake, or a fake Facebook account for me, and I didn't even have one, I didn't even have Facebook, I didn't why even would, have Facebook till like grade kid, 9. Why would a kid make a face? Some kid made a face, or a fake Facebook account in Initials. my name, yeah, so anyway, so he was bashing like other people in my name, and I didn't even know about it until like oh really yeah wow that's that sucks yeah so i just want to point out it's super funny because you were a psychopath and like great no not back then though not back then i know no. i know you changed you changed a lot and it's you're a lot better now but it was pretty we had a we had a common game in the playground it was um uh poke the bear and basically ran up to you poked you and you <laughs> jump rip a branch off a tree and beat us with it you chase us around the playground if we got away from you we won okay i can't help that i was kicked out of preschool all right that's just, that's just I, I almost got expelled that's from just my that's I just got my expelled fucking from kindergarten legacy you so want, you want to know that story i almost got expelled from kindergarten no all right what? Move on. <laughs> what let's ask oh yeah i i didn't find it let's fun. ask you let's didn't ask you didn't find this ask no. I f- Fine, I f- then I'm gonna tell the kindergarten story. Fuck. I didn't. I, didn't, I thought we were moving, we were long past. I that. thought I thought we were done. Me. <laughs> Why are we talking about me? This podcast is about stuff about in me. general. I'm talking about. Uh, I mean stories, Tanner. Stories, God. All right, so how Good I got God. almost expelled from kindergarten. Apparently, you're not allowed to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh in front of your kindergarten teacher when you say my monster killed yours, and she says, and she heard kill you. And she thought I told this kid I was going to kill him. You're in kindergarten. Yeah, I was in kindergarten and almost got expelled. Long story short, it was not good. We ended up moving an hour (laughs) away. So, that was not fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm here. Oh. My bread, uh... So, about this dress thing. 
What the fuck do you guys think uh, about the shut dress the thing? Fuck up. No one wants to talk about no, the dude, dress. No, dude, dude, dude. CBC News just tweeted they're talking about the Salvation Army is now using the dress uh, to like to promote anti violence against women. Hey? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know much about this dress. All I know is it changes colors. That's it. Like, it, it's based on, like, fucking a bunch of stuff. It's based on, on, like, lighting. She's on. They're using it to promote anti-violence, which I don't know. I don't understand. Did you ever read, like, the science behind it or anything? No. Yeah, it's because no. it's based on, like, the screen you're using, the lighting in the room. Please tell me you see it's fucking yellow or I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, it's yellow and Let's white. See. Is it yellow? Okay, look up the original picture, Tanner. Because... Isn't it blue and yellow, the original picture? Okay, it's... Look, get the original picture because here's the thing. If it's on like that, it's not going to change colors because the lighting isn't right. It's not... The lighting is not going to... Make... So if you hold this on your phone, when different lighting scenarios, it'll change colors to the original picture. Well, based on what like screen you're using, okay. like the lighting in the room, apparently your mood, but I think that's a bunch of bullshit. Like, it's like... Yeah. If you feel like... If you're feeling <laughs> down... It'll be black and blue. I'm like, really? Yeah. That sounds like a bunch of shit to me. Sure. Here, hold I, on. I can't find it. You, you search it. Oh, good for you. <laughs> oh, I cookie. guarantee I can just search the dress and it'll show up. I tried the that. Dress. I searched it and I didn't. Okay, guys, I really I really hate this topic. I think this dress thing is the okay, stupidest thing ever. See. Except for the anti-women violence part. I'm strong. I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah. If I guess if you're doing that, good job. Good on you. Yeah. Everyone Hold deserves on. respect in this world. Respect yourself. R E S P C T. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Mm. I got you, bud. I got you. I know what you're talking about. R E S P C T. Oh, damn. That's so good. We're going to get copyright strike. Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. I'm joking. Calm down. Calm down. Did you think I was serious? No. <laughs> All right. You tend to freak out every now and then. What color is it? Okay, no one say their color. No one see what they say. No one say what they see. And then on the count of three, we'll say what we see. Okay. Okay. So here's the dress. Okay. That's kind of hard for me to tell, but okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Yellow Black and white. And white. White and yellow. It's yellow and white. It's black and white right now. I've seen it yellow and white, and it's, I know what that looks like. But to right me, now, I I kind of see blue actually. I see blue and yellow. Why right am now. I seeing black now? I see blue and yellow. Are you? F I told you it fucking changes. See, I'm starting to see it turn gold right now. Honestly, but I saw it black and blue. No, I only, I only see blue and yellow. It what? was white a second ago. Now it's blue and yellow. Really, I, I just really don't care about the dressing. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> you want to so drop it like it's hot? I just I want to drop it like drop it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. I want to drop it like it's hot. Honestly, I didn't really want to talk about it, but since yeah, I had to bring it up, guys. Sorry. Bad. Sorry. You Bad. Can, you, can, you can you can hit hurt me later. Yeah. Bad. It's. Ugh. I think it's just one of those things where it's just it. it it's just in a. It's honestly, I think this is the new craze. What people are just gonna go nuts about for quite a long time. I think it's already dead. <laughs> I don't think it's like. Yeah. It was okay, a, it was a about, thing for a while. How about this then? Um, I saw this on Facebook. There was this uh, Catholic school somewhere, and then there was this. It was this girl, and she had like a backless shirt or something like that. So the boy behind her was snapping her bra during class. So she turned around, punched him in the face, broke his nose. School board threatened or called her mom for like two hours. Her mom's like a neurosurgeon or something like that, so she couldn't get out of surgery. And they said it's an emergency, so she had to come down right away. So her mom comes racing down to the school, and then she finds out that her her daughter punched this uh, boy in the face. And then she, her mom goes, "Good." Goes and back, does the surgery. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm like, good for her. Yeah. Stand up for herself. Yeah. But get this, no, the school board wants, I think they want to do, uh, to suspend the girl for being violent. And she's like, all right, then I want to file sexual harassment charges against this boy. And then the principal goes, well, no, no, that's just boys being boys. And she looks at the female, or she looks at a male teacher and it says, all right, you snap one of the other female teacher's um, bras and see what happens. Okay, you're gonna get sexually, uh, you're gonna get assaulted, or um, you're gonna get charged for sexual assault. And I'm saying, I'm reading this, and I'm, you know, I'm reading the comments. Some people are agreeing with the boy, saying that oh, boys will just be boys. She she shouldn't charge him. I'm sitting there, it's like, I would have punched him more. Like, you know, you gotta you gotta have respect for women. You you have to. There's there's no middle area. There's no gray area with that. I know Daniel Tosh said what. There's no excuse to hit women. And Daniel Tosh said, I'm pretty sure I could find one. If you come home and she's Bill already Burr. drowned two of your three kids in a tub. It's Bill Burr. Hmm? Bill Burr. Not Daniel Tosh. No, this is, Bill, this is Daniel Tosh. Well, Bill Burr has like the exact same skit then. 
we're going to Google that later and we're going to find all this that's, controversy. That's Ako. Because Bill Burr's, I have every single one of Bill Burr's things, and the earliest one he has is like, I think it's like, I don't know, but anyways, I heard this on Daniel Tosh, and he's like, what if she's drowned uh, two out of your three kids in the tub, and she's about to drown the third? Can you go over and clock her one then? And he's like, gray area, <laughs> found one. <laughs> Okay, there's always an exception, but as a general, <laughs> as a general rule, you don't hit anybody. Well, 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 well. Even well. if you deserve it, just file a really well. fucking expensive civil suit and sue their ass off. Money, what if money, money what will probably if, be worth a lot more than that punch. With that what, money, you can hire a hitman. What if it's Problem a solved. vacuum? What if it's vacuum? What, what's your point? I'm just kidding. I was, that was a joke, but apparently that didn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> fun. We're, we're having a serious discussion, <laughs> and you bring in facts. And they start talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this yes, year, they're talking about domestic violence. Just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo. <laughs> Taryn you know? Jeffries. Evidently, so you know, do we need to watch this? A dickhead. I, I, think, I, think we, I think we have a verdict on that one. Gavel down. Man, Jim Jeffries. Mm. Hey, no arm rest back here, hey, dickhead. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I lo- I watch way too much TV and stand-up comedy. Like, I watch so much. <laughs> Speaking of stand-up comedy, Aziz Ansari just released his um, third Netflix debut, like, full stand-up oh, comedy really? in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, oh, we'll same as... Like at home. Yeah, it's, it, look, it looks pretty funny. Oh, and the uh, new Louis C.K. special. No, what, what what's it called? Comedy, sh- uh, comedy Store or something like that. It's a special? It's not on Netflix, but oh. it's like a special. Okay, I'll have to find it's that. It's on YouTube. <coughs> What's Gabriel Iglesias doing lately? I don't think he, he's just doing like Disney movies and stuff. Yeah, I haven't seen him forever. But that's funny because we've seen him live, me and Mason. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was You saw time. Ray wa- live, didn't you too? Uh, who? Johnson. Wait, when I see Ray William Johnson Appar- live. Apparently you saw, well, he wasn't live, but he was like there with uh, Gabriel. No, okay, so they just, um, uh, before Gabriel Iglesias' uh, stand-up special in Calgary, they had, um, like, they had just, like, a preview, a bunch of pictures going of all, like, the celebrities and actors he's ever met and worked with, oh. and Ray William Johnson was one of the pictures that came up. Oh, I thought you told me he was actually there, and no. I was actually a little no, no, bit no. excited Why for a second. Why would he be there? <laughs> Who knows? Hey, it's William Johnson. Ray William Johnson. 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 on stage for, like, two seconds. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, this is the clip. We don't, we don't have the clip. Oh, shit, guys. <laughs> oh. Come on, get your stuff together. Oh, those good times, good times, man. Yeah, we. Yeah. So, Anyone going to any, uh, you know, any concerts or anything? Uh, like stand-up shows. I hear you are, if you haven't already. Going to several, but. but no, I was look, gonna go to Lincoln Park. Like that got canceled. Yeah. Yeah. I was so mad about that. We did, were. Did good. you have tickets? No, we were. We were gonna buy yeah. them. I was actually. I was buying for everyone like two days. Because uh, it was it was Lincoln Park and Rise yeah. Against. Yeah. I mean, those are two pretty big. They're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to One Republic. Uh, they're they're okay. They're, they're, they're pretty good actually. Counting stars. You're just, you're just a rapper, mofo. That's what you are. Man, I, I'm I love all kinds of music except for heavy metal. I cannot handle heavy metal. Like I go from anywhere from classic country all the way to rap. I don't care. I love music. Music basically as long as it has a decent story and it's just not f this f that n word n word. I don't care. But you know like. Um, as long as it has a decent beat and I can feel it, then we're we're cool, man. Yeah, but, and I'm going to Ed Sheeran, and that's I'm more excited for that one. Oh, that that looks pretty good. That um, I like that guy. He's pretty good. He's you know, great. You know what concerts I'd like to actually come to Calgary? Hmm. I'd like to see. I know you don't like metal, but you know, fuck you. I'd like to see Avenge Sevenfold or Five Finger Death Punch. Oh, Richie would lose his shit. I would lose my what shit. What about Papa Roach? He's pretty good. Yeah, they're they're pretty good for sure. Yeah, I'd like to see one of the, or some of the top metal bands come to Nanton. Nanton. <laughs> yeah. Calgary. yeah. Calgary. 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 If they came to Nanton, that would be amazing. Where would they even set up? The community. The <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it, I'm pretty sure it'd be the hub. That's <laughs> Probably. If it's more people. It, it would be like... Uh... That'd be a joke. No one would ever do that. Why are we talking about <laughs> it? Oh my goodness. There's 2,000 people in our town. If every single person came, that'd be a decent-sized concert. 2,000 least, people. That would be a very small concert. Oh, what the fuck was the name of that big-ass Almost concert central. they had in, like, the 80s? Uh, I know there was all, a like, Metallica the one with, with the, a million, over a million people. With all the That's hippies. insane. You want to see a video of that? That's, mm. That looks insane. Like, we just... <sighs> Metallica's pretty good. 
What? I'm still trying to... What was that? It was like Green something? I don't know. What the hell was it called? That concert in the 80s with all the, like, hippies. Uh, Woodstock? Oh, Woodstock. Yeah, Woodstock. Woodstock. We, we should have, like, a net in Woodstock. Hey, because they did that in, like, the middle of a fucking farm in the middle of fucking nowhere. They just, like, set it up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty... I listen to that song, like, once a week. I'm pretty sure I like, know what oh, it's oh, are we going to sound like a bunch of fucking retards now? Metallica, um, their song called One, that's also pretty good. They actually do covers too. Like, there's a cover. Uh, they have a song called "Whiskey in the Jar." They did. It was originally like some Celtic folk song, and they took it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just want to point out for a second. This is just for the bros, but the uh, the chick who plays violin for Skyrim, she is super hot. Oh, Lindsay Sterling. I just want to point that out. She's, violin for Skyrim. She's Dude, have you? Very, not, she is you, very attractive. You haven't seen any of Lindsay she's Sterling? Very, very attractive. <laughs> Like music, no. She does like violent dubstep. It's like the fucking shit. It's insane, actually. Like I watched one of her videos. She is really talented, very pretty, and I want to meet her. That's what I used for my uh, AMV, one of her songs, of course. But you haven't watched it. AMV. Loyal fans, oh. right here. Like, oh, you've watched it though, Mason. Yeah, yeah, you watched my AMV. Uh, One Piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a sweet song. Props to Lindsey Sterling, you're awesome. Anyway. Not hitting shit. The only thing you could hit is if you said Navy SEALs were better than J2F or JF2, something like that. That's such a thing to hit, like that specific thing. Yeah, it is. That's because everyone's like, Navy SEALs are awesome. Navy SEALs suck. Navy SEALs are the worst. In water, they'll kill you. Navy SEALs in water, you're done. In water, you're done. On land, you have like a 94% chance of you're chance of death is this, that's 6% is it, is this chance this? of survival I thought you were going to say 94 chance of survival it's like <laughs> okay, okay. M- Mason who makes no, but like Mason, J- you survive, JF2 though. JF2 they, they're a Canadian you know why you've never heard of them because they're doing their job and Ma- they'll mess you up Mason who makes up your statistics I'd like to know that uh, my brain but also I've, 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 I've <laughs> seen to the podcast <laughs> where we pull statistics out of our ass and say they're for real yeah <laughs> man that's called my life Oh, did you know 97% of uh, statistics are made up on the spot? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. <sighs> did you know the phrase, did you know, is probably way overused, than it, more overused than it should be? I actually looked it up. Like, there's an actual fucking survey. Like, this is legit. I'm not even pulling this out of my ass. But the three most... Actually, I think I can only remember two. The two most fucking annoying phrases that people use... Or is just saying and K. You see that and all K. The time. As in like just K. K. Just uh, saying. If you're a K or you can fucking kill yourself. Yeah. K and just saying apparently are the worst. K, you say just saying all the time, and I send you like just the letter K in a text like almost twice a day. I hate you right now. Hey, you no. Just, you, just told me to go, you just told me to go kill myself. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, we, we have some history. <laughs> I think all of us have had our moments. Yeah, just saying. Okay, can I do a can I do a, a Bill Burr joke right now? Sure. Okay, so Bill Burr basically, um, for a special, one of the jokes was live. He said video editor or um, video editors are the stupidest fucking people alive. But he <laughs> said video editors and then cut the rest out. So it just said video editors are so and then just cut out. Gotta be his video editors. He made fun of video editors, but then they cut out the rest. <laughs> so you know, podcast editors <laughs> are so. F- you know what? I'm I gonna s- I'm I gonna save you the trouble. I'm gonna take one of your fucking swears from the last podcast and put it right there, just just so you <laughs> actually so do swear. Fucking. <laughs> actually, that's kind of anti productive. God damn it! I can't win. I can't win whatever I do in this situation. You're gonna get me in trouble. I'll never win. No. Tanner's a loser in this situation. I no lose. matter what. I lose. Tanner's responsible for this. Mm. He's uh. So we gotta we gotta think of fails now. We gotta think of we gotta like splurge ourselves onto the YouTube demographic of okay. the entire forty views with All your right, biggest so, fail. Okay, I got this. I got this. Alright, so our biggest fails picture. A two hundred and forty pound kid with red hair goes to kick <laughs> a volleyball in a gym. <laughs> Hits it the first time, goes two feet in the air, tries to kick it again with his second foot, misses, and this goes straight up in the air, lands flat on his ass. That hurt like hell. And it was super funny. Because, you know, 
people laugh at you. Yeah, and it kind of shook the ground a little. <laughs> <laughs> in China, they're like, oh, God. Oh, God. What is that? So are you sure? Like, Canada's, like, right here. I'm, I don't think, eight, like, I'm pretty sure Asia's, like, right here. I don't think it's, like, straight across. So if we, like, took the exact axis and cut it right through, I don't think we'd pop up in Asia. I'm pretty sure we'd well, pop up in I an mean, ocean. Nobody said it was Canada where they do that joke. Like, maybe it's, like... True Southern America. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that was Mason blowing his mind. Not blowing. No, <laughs> okay. Every day, Tanner used to tell me a fact that would blow my mind, and the one day he couldn't, I went out to one of my friends. I was like, "Blow my mind!" And he puts his hands between or on the side of my head and just goes, <laughs> because he literally did he blew, blew your mind. He did. Yeah, te- technically, he blew my mind. And I'm like, "Oh mm. my God, this kid is super smart." Tanner, you're done. You're fired. So, is anyone else really into YouTubers besides me? Like, I know you used to be a hardcore YouTuber. Yeah, I watch YouTube every day. Yeah? Yeah. You're still a hardcore YouTuber? Eh. Have you, watch watched, it, have you watched any uh, Markiplier? Yeah. Yeah? I watched them play Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Fucking, why are they still making that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're like, oh, There's hey. been three games since, like, August. I know. They're crazy. They're fucking crazy. They're like, Shh. Are they good? Have no. you watched any Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> They're garbage. No. They're like pictures that you like. It won like a fucking horror award. You know that, right? It won like a whole lot of awards. How come almost any movie or game with the name Freddy in it, it's kind of creepy? Because Freddy's a fucking creep. <laughs> yeah, Freddy's a creep name. Except for that that one, remember the YouTuber with a really weird voice? His name was Fred. I guess that's kind of horror-ish. <laughs> it was pretty scary. As a kid and a guy talking like that. He used to be the most subscribed person on YouTube with like 4 million subscribers. <laughs> Yeah, that's, huh. that's cute huh. now. Yeah, yeah. I think PewDiePie is like more than Canada. Yeah, doesn't he? Have... Yeah, he he just tweeted that like two days ago. He's got more than Canada now. Doesn't like PewDiePie have like four different channels? Uh, and each channel has no, no. no? Oh, I thought he did. Or no, he just like made different channels for different uh, areas. Like he has like a channel on Russia and something like that. Like so, he can no. be number one all over the world. That's I heard he was doing works. this. Oh. That's not how it works. Just going to different, living in different places is how it works. Not like you don't make different channels for each area, just like living there. You're like, yeah. Hey, so you guys, do you know the story about uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken? No. No? no. What happened? Damn him? it, now I want some Cinnamon Toast Ken. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm super hungry. Well, you know how Cinnamon Toast Ken is like like friends with PewDiePie? He mm-hmm. never used to be like sure. a big YouTuber. PewDiePie like held this, like he was doing this video and he said, you know, like if you're a YouTuber, on, uh, if you're like wanting to be a YouTuber, like send me some of your shit and I'll, and I'll give you some feedback. And apparently, uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken was one of those YouTubers that he really liked. And so, sure enough, now Cinnamon Toast Ken's like a, a big thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, really, as soon as you get like um, acknowledgement from PewDiePie, one of the biggest YouTubers ever, I'm pretty sure you're going to go far with your YouTube career. Like, I've been looking at, like, I don't know, like the other people that PewDiePie plays with. He played with uh, RPG Minx 2. I think that's her name. Anyway, um... Besides, like, uh, Gary's mod stuff, like, it seems like she doesn't do, like, too much, but it's still, like, her connection with PewDiePie. I'm not sure if that boosted her subscribers or not, but she's got a lot. A lot more than I ever will, probably. Yeah. RPG Minx. Don't know her. I like RPGs. They're fun. Or free run games. Assassin's Creed. So, I mean... Grand Theft Auto. PewDiePie has 35 million subscribers. That's insane. And then the second most subscribed um, channel that is not like popular on YouTube News or YouTube Spotlight. We're not counting anything like YouTube default subscribes you to. Um, is Hola Soy German. What's that about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Smosh and Rihanna Vivo. Really? One Direction Smart. Vivo. Yeah. Katy Perry Vivo. Funny how Eminem Rihanna Vivo, comes up again. Jenna Marbles. Oh, no. Sorry, that was Beyonce. Sorry. Nigga Higa. Machinima. Taylor Swift Vivo. ERB. The Fine Bros. ERB. ERB Banos is insane. Gaming. They're funny. Never? That's, that's who I showed you guys the last time at, after the podcast. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is that Ray William Johnson only has 10 million subscribers. He still has a channel? I thought he gave up his whole. Channel. Didn't we talk about this last podcast? Yeah, probably. Yeah, he. Just, we talked about it like just extensively. Just forget about it then. You get your meat. 
But what do you guys think about my animated adventure? I know you've probably already yeah, that was told pretty. Me, but uh, I forgot. Okay, that was pretty badass, man. Like the the ending credit or like the ending song. Um, I like how you just took words of what we said and just compiled it all into a song that was really creative and it was actually really fun. It was, it was a it was a creative song. I actually want to download that song. This was insane. You yeah, is there a, a full version? Yeah, you should you should make a full, you should make a full version. It's not the money. That's not fun. Oh, oh yeah. well, when it's I was originally money. editing that, you hear like Mason, you're like, it's all about money, and then Hayden like immediately like not even like. A millisecond after that, I was like, Mason, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I have to, like, edit that. It took me, like, forever to, like, get it just perfect. Well, that's a good song. It's all about money. If you listen to it, like, we'll right now, you'll be able to hear it. Like, you hear, yeah, like, Hayden hey, just right now. saying, go like, for it, go for it. just saying it? it. Like, he's like, it, it's just on his channel. Go to his channel. Rise to no, the podcast isn't Yeah, the podcast isn't. No, but if you oh, listen to the end. song, yeah, if you listen to the song at the end. Yeah. What's yeah. your channel name? Rise Seven Fall Nine. Rise... Seven, fall, nine. Any particular reason? If you guys are name? watching this, you already know that. Any like particular that? reason for the name? No. Yeah. Do you just type in Ryan Seven? <laughs> I said Rise Seven. Yeah, Rise R I S E Seven Fall, F A L L Nine. Like sure so your channel got. Oh hey, deleted. I, when you actually search me, I do show up eventually. Oh no, I don't. Shit, that's somebody else. Fuck. Damn, you only have three subscribers and less than 200 views. I have more. I have like nine subscribers now. I just looked when we were... No, I have looking. nine. I swear to God. I'm pretty sure you have... Okay, I was being a little underfair. You have three. No, I don't. No, I swear to God I have more than that. Do you? Yeah. Literally, I do. I I'm swear to God. Subscribed. I say I probably subscribe. Yeah. Nine Got subscribers, it. seven videos. That's not on... Uh, yeah, upload a video. Tanner, you gotta, like, kill the intros a little bit. Yeah, 9 subscribers. Why? The intro's cool. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> the outro, too, it's like... I know, I know. Like, a minute of outro and intro. I know, I know. I was saying, like, it's hard being cheesy. I'm like, guys, guys, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> this is Richie, by the way. It ain't easy being cheesy. That, that's the way it is. <laughs> Where's that even from? It's from that episode of Family Guy. Where, yeah. Uh, God, the, uh, where the, uh... Okay, we're not here to Oh, my listen. God! You're like, come on. That's not fun. <laughs> that's not fun. <laughs> okay. I, I honestly, okay, I honestly thought that was like intended to be in it. Yeah, I, I never knew what he was saying. <laughs> that's not fun. <laughs> that's not fun. It's all about money. It's all about money. Cheesy. That was me, guys. That was me. It ain't easy being cheesy. It's all about money. It's all about money. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Man, who the hell you think you are? So anyway, you're asking me if I had any particular reason for naming my channel, and I, honest to God, like, I'd like to say that I have, like, an in-depth reason. Like, I was thinking about it, like, I was trying not to come up with one of those, like, Gay ass names, you know what I'm talking about. XX Sniper 47 XX. Yeah, like, what's with that XX? It's just, it's just a thing. It's just a we thing. We don't need to talk. Anyway, cool. so when I was when I was making Rise Seven Fall Nine, you know how it's like one step forward and two steps back. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like Rise Seven Fall Nine. Like you're going you one rise step seven forward, and fall nine. You're 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 making one step forward but two steps back. But if you're walking backwards, you'll reach your destination. <laughs> oh, Tanner, we didn't need to go. Hey, so that that's, Buddha welcomes you. That that's what is it called? Like fucking, I don't even know. Psychologic, mm -hmm. psychological. We, I don't even know. Psychology. I don't know. What Psychiatry. I, was, I don't know what I was even trying to say with this whole situation. No one knows, Hayden. I don't know. If you don't know, how are we supposed to know? Mm, uh, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, so um, I mean, I have, I have one last thing to Sweet say deal. before maybe we finish up. Yeah. But I mean, I uh, I, I got Dying Light. Did you really? Yeah. What's Dying Light? It's that game we were talking about, Parkour Zombies. Oh yeah. Is yeah. it good? It's pretty good so far, except it crashes all the time because I may or may not have pirated it. Oh. <laughs> oh. We don't pirate what? No, what? I never. Oh, I definitely don't have like five thousand <laughs> movies and TV shows. 
He just admitted to a current FBI. <laughs> what? The yeah, FBI. I said up there. no. Come and swap. And this I bitch. definitely didn't take it to Spain going across borders and border security. Honestly, I was thinking checking. about that. We were being so paranoid. I like, know. We were like, freaking are they really out. They didn't, be even, like... they didn't even check. Like, they didn't even look at this. Like, it's a little black box. How do you know I don't have, like, a knife in there? They're just like, no, I'm going through. That's actually a hilarious story. Your first time going on a plane and oh you have a gosh, knife in your so backpack. Oh my gosh, so many fucking Spain stories. Like, honestly, we could do, like... An entire okay, podcast. Really, really. And the other time we went, like, when we were going to Spain, we were going through the airport. And you brought a fucking knife? He didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, I had it in my backpack because <laughs> it was the same backpack that Dude. I took skiing. And I took a knife in there because I had to, like, cut tape and stuff because I was, like, doing stuff with cameras. And I forgot it in there. And then they were, like, I didn't know why they had to, like, rescan my stuff. And they are like, got anything sharp in here? I was like, why the fuck would I have anything sharp in here? Sure and enough. Then, <laughs> Dude, I wrote down like every single misadventure from our Spain trip and like half of it is literally us. Uh, Dude, the gambling, oh, yeah. the gambling, what gambling? The gambling machine that we like. Oh, yeah. We yeah, won like two euros on and spent like 12. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're like, we're not going to spend much, guys. We're sitting there, we're just pounding back euros in this thing. We, spent, we ran like, out of change. Bucks. We spent like 20 <laughs> bucks. My dad's just sitting there machine. in the back. He's like, you guys are wasting your money. It's we're like, like, it's just change. Calm down. And then you and Mike ran out of money. And then you find a 20. And Lori was going to give you money. But I was the real one who had no money. You guys found can, a 20 can, and bought okay, lunch. I, like I didn't even have money. It's to been a year myself. since we've been to Spain, roughly. So we have something to admit. Um, you left swords under the fucking bed. Yeah, no. no they left them on the, the roof. roof of the hotel. They left Please. it on the roof? Okay, so Hayden bought three katanas, and our buddy Mike bought a broadsword. The broadsword was small enough. It fit in his suitcase, but Hayden's... Uh, we had three uh, small... katanas that varied size, and the long one went fit, yeah. so we put it on the roof. Yeah. Because we couldn't take it in on like the plane, obviously, and we couldn't get it in my uh, check luggage, so... Yeah, so we threw it on the roof and we just hit him there. After we cut a bunch of shit up. Except they were dull as shit and wouldn't cut anything. Yeah. Yeah, because they were cheap as fuck. They, they were just for toy. decoration. Yeah. Yeah, they were just for decoration. And they were, like, made for... They were... Hayden, <sighs> we were in Africa, and Hayden loses the room key, so we were locked out of a room for about two hours. We have no idea where he left. They left his glasses. That story is much deeper than I'm willing to um, tell the whole thing on <laughs> the you, podcast. Did, but... Didn't you guys, like, go up to, like, the... The like uh, front desk guy, and you like tried speaking Spanish to him. You're like, uh, "Donde es so?" Uh, <laughs> yes. Room I was like, uh, "Yo, busco mis llaves." <laughs> he's African. <laughs> he's African. They we're speak, like, they're speaking we're like, Arabic. Shit. yeah, we're like, shit, wrong country. Damn it. <laughs> Anyone know how to speak this language? We, yeah. I thought they were speaking African, but no, it was like Arabic, and we're like, Damn African it. is not a fucking language. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's your story, bro. <laughs> There's no African language. There's African dialects. Okay. But it's not like... Oh, so it's there's no like just language that's like specifically African. Okay, that's like well, walking up to... Someone walking thanks up for to saying you. saying it nicely. Dick. Dude. Could have been nicer. Dude, that's like someone walking Retard up to you and alert. saying that you speak Canadian. Do you speak Canadian? No, you speak English. Well, I say A a lot. It's pretty Canadian. That's just a Canadian phrase. Oh, it is. Calm down. Anyways. She does. Yes, yeah, she does, but she's not going to listen to our fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. Anyways, we're standing outside... Am- or a hotel in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, you know, weed's legal. No, Prostitutes are legal. Yeah, it's it is. Weed is legal. Too. Weed's if you're not a citizen. Legal anymore. Yeah, if you're a citizen for more than three years and hold a card, like the green card system kind of thing. This, this is besides the point. Cause Whatever. You know, it's legal it. if you're a citizen for three years <laughs> and you have a green card, which it's only like a default thing. It's not definitely not only in fucking cafes when I saw people doing it on the street. Still dude, yeah, they dude, don't give a shit regardless dude, if it's illegal or not. Dude, did you step outside for once? Did you like get your fucking nose out of your intention? Because I did. I stepped outside the entire place. It was like it smelled like pot. Get that over fucking it. city was like a hot box. All right, everyone was smoking pot. Dude, a hot box city. Yeah, that's what it was like. Imagine Any a tarp. fucking way. I'm trying <laughs> Imagine, to tell my story. Imagine putting a tarp over top of a city and hot box in it. That'd be a big ass fucking. Everyone tarp. would fucking die. Oh, yeah, there'd be so much fucking like car pollution. You would die. Like, everyone it wouldn't would even die. be like no, everyone. No one, get... no one uses cars. Everyone just collects in city center. Well, oh, I guess they do ride bikes. If they're still cars. Yeah, but they're still cars. It Regardless, just... it's gonna get filled up. Okay. We must Any... got killed by those bikers. All those bikers don't give a shit. <laughs> there were like fifty <laughs> bikers. We're trying to get off the bus. Not motorcycles. We're talking about pedal bikes. Yeah. And these guys almost killed us. Yeah, that's why. Like, there's a bike lane in pretty much every other place in the world except where we live. So. We were not on purpose. Any fucking way, let's let's make this story the closing story. Because we've been at this for almost an hour and ten minutes. 
We'll make this the closing story. Then fucking say it. We don't get interrupted because every time we try to tell the story, then won't you tell the fucking story? Quit you talking. Fucking interrupt <laughs> me. That's I'm why I'm waiting for him to fucking say the story. He's saying the story because every time I say something, you say something like we should hotbox the city. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to us, things Mason say? Doesn't that like mean like a segment? Yes. It doesn't mean we like it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Dig. <sighs> Shit, Mason says. Anyways, we're outside our hotel. We're just sitting there. Well, standing there, and she's smoking. Gotta get her smoke down because she'll become a bitch if she doesn't. So, um, she's smoking. This big six foot five black guy with like dreadlocks comes. And, um, he just comes up to us. Full on, like, stereotype Jamaican accent in Amsterdam. And he's just like, hey guys, you wanna bust some, uh, some, uh, some cocaine? Uh, we're just like look at each other. Uh, no, no, thank you. That that's that's quite all right. Be like, and then he's like, uh, MDMA points at us. And we'll be like, no, that's 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 okay. Be like, try no buy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like, no, that's quite all right. Thank try you. No buy. He'll be like, okay, cool. And he just like walks away and like does like a bounce step all the way <laughs> into this like sunset of like the dark streets of Amsterdam. <laughs> uh, good times. Oh man, I think we should save the Spain stories for another podcast because there's about ten of them. Yeah, that's definitely story worthy. And we don't need to. De- All right, yeah. So let's wrap it up. So this has been Tanner, Hayden, Mason, Hayden again. Bye, moi. Oh, okay. I get the last word. It's Twitter. Do I do? Twitter. Me. Uh, Donde es Donde es Yes, room I was like, uh, yo busco mis llaves. <laughs> 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 <laughs>